Has your weather been as sketchy as ours? Well, it's times like these when it's nice to have a vehicle like this. I'm Chris Moto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 GMC Acadia AT4 with all-wheel drive. So while we have a reprieve from the rain, we better get started. Looking bolder than ever is this redesigned 2020 GMC Acadia AT4 with all-wheel drive. And the AT4 is an all-new trim that adds a little more ruggedness to the lineup. Well, at least in looks. Standard features include 17-inch painted aluminum wheels with all-terrain tires, LED daytime running lights, headlights, and projector-type fog lamps, black roof rack rails, power hands-free liftgate, body color heated outside mirrors with turn signal indicators, and remote vehicle start. Inside, you'll find a leather-wrapped steering wheel, eight-way power front driver's seat and four-way passenger seat, tilt and telescoping steering column, heated front seats, tri-zone auto climate control, inside rear view mirror with auto dimming, power express up-down front windows, hill descent control, GMC infotainment system with eight-inch multi-touch display, multi-color driver display, active noise cancellation, improved voice recognition, what would you like? OnStar services with 4G LTE Wi-Fi, rear seat reminder, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and some power outlets to keep your devices charged. Safety and security features include teen driver settings, rear park assist, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, HD rear vision camera, and rear cross traffic alert. Now time for the options that add the jet black and Kalahari interior, the infotainment package that includes Bose premium eight speaker audio, navigation, and HD radio. The driver alert package too adds the safety alert seat, IntelliBeam headlamps, front and rear park assist, following distance indicator, forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking, and front pedestrian braking. Wrap things up with the carbon black metallic paint and you get a total MSRP of $45,680. If you're thinking like I'm thinking, this AT4 is a handsome vehicle with a different grille, badging, and black chrome accents. And check out those aggressive tires. But don't be fooled. With only 7.2 inches of ground clearance, this Acadia is still limited to where it can go. The cargo area holds 41.7 cubic feet behind the second row, and there are cargo rails to help keep things in place. Tug on the levers, and you get access to a total of 79 cubic feet of space. Allowing this Acadia to accelerate is GM's tried and true 3.6 liter direct injected V6 engine with active fuel management and stop start that makes 310 horsepower, 271 pound feet of torque. A new Hydromatic 9T65 9 speed automatic transmission sends power to all four wheels. A drive mode selector allows you to choose from five driving modes, including two wheel drive, all wheel drive, sport, off road, and tow haul. The latter allows for a towing capacity of up to 4,000 pounds. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 18 miles per gallon city, 25 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 21 miles per gallon. Auto academics saw an average of 20.3 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. Because the Acadia can be optioned with a third row, five passenger versions like this one have an amazing amount of back seat space. On top of that, the seats recline, there's a nice selection of power points, and the floor is flat to keep the middle passenger happy. 
The only question I have is the reported tri-zone climate control. There are AC vents, but no way to control them. The view from the driver's seat is pretty nice, with varied colors and textures to set the mood. The touchscreen has a higher resolution now, and the interface has been simplified, requiring fewer steps for some tasks. A new electronic shifter was added too, but I'll need a few more days to see if I'll eventually get used to it. So now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. In case you are wondering how these aggressive looking tires behave on the road, fear not, because they barely make a peep. No humming, no drifting, nothing. And that's a good thing, because for the most part, a vehicle like this won't go off road anyway. Now, the steering's a little vague, but it's functional. The tried and true 3.6 liter makes good power and the nine speed auto is smooth and helps with fuel economy too. The suspension is comfortable, if a little bit floaty, but the brakes have a good pedal feel. Unfortunately, as with some other GM vehicles, I still have issues with the seats. In typical fashion, the bottom seat cushion is flatter than I prefer and doesn't provide much lateral support in the corners. My back stays put, but my rear wants to slide. Now, obviously all that stuff is personal preference, and besides those things, this is a nice vehicle. And while it can't really handle all types of terrain, it'll do just fine in all types of weather. So there you have it guys, the 2020 GMC Acadia AT4 with all-wheel drive. Very few people take their vehicles off-road, even if they like to look like they do. And this Acadia AT4 gives you a lot of that look without sacrificing the on-road demeanor that you really want. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you prefer comfort or capability in the comment section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.